This is Michael Wilson. We're looking at five practical lessons from Job 2 for our Christian journey. Let's do it, my friends. The book of Job stands as a profound testament to the human suffering, resilience, and faith. Chapter 2 of Job presents a pivotal moment in the narrative, offering valuable insights into navigating the trials and tribulations of life. As Christians, we can glean practical wisdom from Job's experience to apply our own journeys. Here are five key lessons from Job 2 that can inspire and guide us. First, endurance through adversity. In Job 2, 9 and 10, we witness Job's wife urging him to curse God and die. Imagine that. You've lost everything and your wife comes to you and says, man, you ought to just curse God and die. Well, Job responds with unwavering faith. He says, shall we accept good from God and not trouble? This powerful statement underscores the importance of perseverance in the face of adversity. God is always in charge. And as Christians, we are not to exempt, we are not exempt from trials, but we are called to endure them with faith and trust in God's sovereignty. God is God. And God is in control. Just as Job remained steadfast in his devotion to God, we too can find strength to endure by anchoring our hearts in the promises of God's unfailing love and faithfulness. Second, there is authenticity in grief. Job's friends initially respond to his suffering by just sitting with him in silence for seven days. And that offers a powerful example of the ministry of presence. However, their attempts to explain Job's suffering later in the chapter ultimately fall short. In our own lives, it's essential to cultivate authentic relationships where we can express our grief and struggles without fear of judgment. Being vulnerable allows us to receive the support and comfort of others, fostering healing and resilience in the midst of pain. The third item is seeking God's wisdom. Despite his anguish, Job maintains his integrity and refuses to sin with sin against God with his lips. Instead, he wrestles with profound theological questions, seeking understanding and wisdom. Job's example encourages us to approach our own questions and doubts with humility and a willingness to engage in deep reflection and dialogue. Through prayer, study of the scripture, and seeking wise counsel, we can cultivate a deeper understanding of God's ways and find comfort in his presence in life's uncertainties. The fourth thing is resisting temptation. Satan's attack on Job extends beyond physical affliction to include emotional and spiritual temptation. Yet, Job remains steadfast in his faith, refusing to forsake God, despite the magnitude of his suffering. In our own lives, we face myriad temptations that seek to undermine our faith and integrity. Job's example reminds us of the importance of standing firm in our convictions and relying on God's strength to resist temptation. Through prayer and accountability and reliance on the Holy Spirit, we can overcome the schemes of the enemy and remain faithful to God's calling. And fifth, hope in restoration. Despite the depths of Job's despair, his story does not end in defeat. In Job 42, 10 to 17, we witness God's faithfulness as he restores Job's fortune and blesses him abundantly. Job's journey from suffering to restoration serves as a powerful reminder that God is a God of our redemption and renewal. Even in our darkest moments, we can cling to the hope of restoration, trusting that God will ultimately turn our mourning into joy and our ashes into beauty. So here's the main thing. Job 2 offers profound insights into the Christian journey, reminding us of the importance of endurance, authenticity, seeking wisdom, resisting temptation, and holding on to hope in the midst of trials. As we navigate 
the complexities of life, may we draw strength from Job's example and trust in the faithfulness of our God who promises to never leave us and he will never forsake us. And that's some mighty good news, brothers and sisters.